हेलो एवरी वन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग थ्रू फंक्शन ऑफ ओवरीज ऊजीनेसिस एंड स्टीरोडोजीनेसिस वॉट इज ऊजीनेसिस इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ओवा फ्रॉम द प्रिमिटिव जम सेल्स प्रिमिटिव जम सेल्स वेन द बाई पोटेंशियल गोनर्स डिफ्रेंशिएट इन टू ओवरीज इन जीनेटिक फीमेल दैट कंटेन्स फोर्टी फोर प्लस डबल एक्स क्रोमोजोम so this genetic female embryo by 10th week of gestation the primitive germ cells increasing number by mitosis to form the oogonia so primitive germ cells when the bipotential gonads differentiate into ovaries in the genetic female embryo by 10th week of gestation the primitive germ cells increase in number by mitosis to form the oogonia So what is oogenesis it is the process of formation of ova from the primitive germ cells the process of oogenesis starts in the fetal life and ceases at the menopause the oogenesis starts in the fetal life however in case of male the spermatogenesis starts only after puberty development of each oocyte that begins in the intrauterine life is completed with ovulation that occurs during the menstrual cycle now we are going through the different steps of the oogenesis so first oogonia converted to primary oocyte the primordial germ cells that are known as oogonia migrate from the yolk sac of the embryo to the genital reach at about 6 week of gestation oogonia undergo many mitotic division and the number of oogonia reaches to about 7 million so oogonia the chromosome number 46 in total undergo many mitosis division and forms the primary oocyte that also having the chromosome number 46 this happened in the fetal life so oogonia undergo many mitotic divisions and the number of oogonia reaches to about 7 million so at the end of this mitosis and differentiation the oogonia is now known as primary oocyte The first meiotic division starts in the primary oocyte during the fetal life which occurs at about 8 week of pregnancy and it is arrested in prophase. The process of meiosis has been arrested in the prophase. The first meiotic division is not completed in the fetus. This is called as meiotic arrest. So the first meiotic division is not completed in the fetal life. first meiotic division of the primary oocyte is completed just before ovulation the first meiotic division has been continued throughout the childhood and it is completed just before the ovulation as soon as the first meiotic division is completed just before the ovulation it forms first polar body and secondary oocyte that having the 23 number of chromosomes only the single x chromosome is here the life span of a primary oocyte can be up to 50 years so from the beginning of the birth till the 50 years this primary oocyte is present in the female ovary and in the primary oocyte the meiotic process has been stopped in the prophase in the fetal life and just before the ovulation it is completed now degeneration of the oocyte or atresia During a woman's life only about 400 oocytes are ovulated and the other oocytes degenerate only about 1 million primary oocyte remain at the time of birth at puberty about 2 lakh and at the age of 30 years only about 26000 oocytes remains in the ovary at menopause ovaries are virtually devoid of oocyte at the time of female child inside the female ovary about 1 million primary oocyte are present but at puberty the number reduced to 2 lakhs only and at 30 years only 26000 oocytes remains in the ovary and at the menopause there are no oocytes so that is the degeneration of oocyte this process it is known as atresia now the secondary oocyte converted to ovum just before the ovulation the first meiotic division in the primary oocyte has been completed and it forms the secondary oocyte after ovulation second meiotic division starts in the secondary oocyte so once the ovulation has been occurred but after ovulation also the second meiotic division has been started in the secondary oocyte 
and it is arrested in the metaphase second meiotic division that has been started in the secondary oocyte it has been arrested in the metaphase of the meiotic divisions so at the end of second meiotic division the ovum that contains the 23 chromosomes as well as the second polar body has been formed the polar body is extruded in the process of oogenesis each primary oocyte produces only one ovum however in the process of spermatogenesis in males one spermatogonium produces 512 sperms or spermatozoa but here in case of females the process of oogenesis each primary oocyte produces only one ovum the second meiotic division is completed when the egg is penetrated by a sperm so here the two meiotic divisions the first meiotic division that start during the fetal life has been arrested in the prophase of the meiotic division and first meiotic division has been completed just before the ovulation after the ovulation the second meiotic division has been started and the second meiotic division is also arrested in the metaphase of the meiotic divisions and the second meiotic division is completed when the egg is penetrated by a sperm so second meiotic division is only completed when the fertilization of the ovum with the sperm occurs thus meiotic cycle is completed only on fertilization so the second meiotic division has been completed only on the fertilization of the ovum by the sperm all right so that is the process of oogenesis now the folliculogenesis oocyte growth occurs in the ovarian follicle during the growth of oocyte follicles also grow in different phases this is called follicular growth or folliculogenesis it starts during the intrauterine life and continues till the ovulation it occurs during each menstrual cycle during each menstrual cycle a number of follicles start growing but only one dominant follicle finally matures and releases the ovum and other undergo degeneration that is known as atresia about 99.9% of follicles present at the birth undergo atresia